Hi, I'm a design and technology student from Sydney Technical High School. My proposed project is to build an electric bike that remedies the current problems that the current bikes have. And this video documents the processes that I have undertaken throughout this whole project. So as a rider of an electric bike, what types of issues would be important to deal with when designing my electric bike? Okay, that's a good question about what we should do with a frame design for an electric bicycle. So it's a good thing to ponder. So the issue I'd see is that you want somewhere to store the battery um, and to store some of your electrics so they're not sitting out. And an open diamond frame bicycle or one of the mountain bikes with a fairly large central tube isn't going to work. You're going to have them exposed. So the first thing you think about is there's been monocoque designs done where you know, it's either pressed steel or pressed aluminium alloy sheet or something like that. And you can make that up into a fairly, you know, sort of closed box shape. But thinking about that, uh, there's a bicycle designer called Alex Moulton. He's passed away now, but in the 50s he investigated monocoques and found that there was a lot of noise that came from that. And what actually happened was the uh, vibration from uh, the wheels would travel through and make a lot of sound and, and really make it a rather unpleasant experience. In fact, I think his reading was he made a noisy bicycle, which was quite an achievement. Um, but staying on with the molten thing, because I'm a bit of an evangelist for the molten bike, uh, you might want to investigate something like the modern molten space frame. So instead of having large tubes go for smaller tubes, and then you triangulate that with other small tubes, and you get a trellis sort of structure. So a space frame, trellis, whatever you want to call it. You'll see it in motorcycles with something like, I think the Ducati Monster has a trellis space frame. Um, but the molten bike uses a space frame with small tubes. You get very good torsional rigidity, excellent strength. Molten does have suspension to offset that, but then it's got small wheels, which means it needs it. But you'd have all these spots in the frame to store your battery and um, your electrics and all that sort of thing. So you'd actually be able to shield that away and have a very clean frame design with that all stored away. So, so making something like that out of tubes might, or using that inspiration of, of Moulton's and other space frame sort of bicycles might really work for, for that sort of bicycle design, I'd say. I've found with my bicycle, my electric bicycle, a few issues. I've attached a kit to my bike where I put a motor in the wheel and carry the battery on a rack. I've found the weight of the battery up high affects the handling of the bike both riding it and wheeling it around. I've also found with the extra speed that I'm going on the electric bike that I feel like I need very good brakes, better brakes than I have. Um, I also think the suspension would be good. You've got extra mass on your bike and it seems to jolt and jar a lot more than a normal bicycle with that extra mass plus you're going a little bit faster. So I think weight distribution is a great one, suspension and braking. Could you evaluate the success of my major design project, expressing your own personal positive and negative opinions? Well Martin, I like what you've done here with this bike. I must admit, mountain bike style isn't really my thing. I'm more of a road bike person, so the front forks and that look a little bit overdone for me, but what I'm most interested in is the frame. Um, particularly because you've taken that inspiration of really the Ducati Monster and dare I put in my little plug for the molten space frame um, and use that space frame idea to actually give yourself a cavity for the batteries which I really like. Um, the, I think the orange isn't really my favourite colour but I like the way you've tried to then fill in those areas and then you've got some exposed sections, I quite like that. The rear hub motor is probably a really good idea. I've seen some designs with a front hub motor. You're then turning the bike into a front wheel drive uh, vehicle, which of course will accelerate front tyre wear. So the rear, rear motor is good, and, I'm a, and you've coupled that in with your freewheeling hub and that sort of thing. So I think that, that all looks really good. The disc brakes, I like what you've done here down on the back fork with um, uh, the back, uh, sorry, I should say the back seat stay to make your disc brake um, pad housing, oh, sorry, your caliper housing there, mount onto the seat stay, that's really, really good. And um, I like the colour as well, and I like the step-through frame, which of course is what Alex Moulton said was much safer than a top tube and that sort of thing, so it's very nice, very impressive. And um, I really like that, that trellis look. It makes good sense to store all that important electrical equipment and the batteries away from knocks and all that sort of thing. It's utilising a very 
you know, nice finite space to do that. And I imagine that also gets your center of gravity lower too, which is going to improve the handling of the bike because you've got a fair bit of mass there. You don't want that sitting up high. You've managed to get it down into a, a nice central section and down low. So I think it's very good. Um, it's really a nice way to, uh, uh, to integrate, a, you know, electric assist into a bicycle design. Um, I bet you it looks a lot nicer than it did originally. In fact, I know it did because I saw the original frame. So I really like what you've done with the Martin. It's good. This bike deals with a few of the issues re required by an electric bike really nicely. Rate distribution. The batteries are central and low. The bike balances really nicely. I've ridden it. It's comfortable, predictable. It feels very safe. Disc brakes. Great choice in componentry. Good stopping power required with all the weight of those batteries. Suspension makes the bike comfortable. Uh, overall, it deals with quite a few of the issues really nicely.